Well, tonight we're having our grand opening uh, of our Australia Ship Simulation Centre here in Fremantle. We've had the Mayor, Dr Brad Pettit, come and uh, open the Simulation Centre for us. We've had an opening ceremony uh, involving uh, the attendance of a lot of our uh, clients, existing clients and some potential clients that we have here in, in, in uh, Perth and Fremantle. And we're very excited to have welcomed nearly 50 uh, people along here tonight to experience the simulations that are running in the background here behind me. The simulator really helps us because we can model the real weather conditions. This allows us to train our pilots as well as our tug masters, not only in isolation but also in the way they need to work together. Bobby, tug four in position. Using the HR Wallingford Simulation Centre, we're able to set up training that would normally not be possible on the job. It affords us to be able to do situation management and training pilots all the way from scratch to licensing. The behaviour, the hydrodynamic responses of the ship models is really second to none. Port Adelaide is the largest bulk export port in the world and in the top 10 volume ports in the world. So 2016-17 we're on target to do over 500 million tonnes of throughput. So it's really important for us to make sure that we use every opportunity to improve our systems, our training, make sure our pilots are the best that they can be. Uh, every two years we conduct uh, emergency simulations, which is the best way of us practicing our routines that have to be followed in case of emergencies. It brings a, a level of realism that's only possible elsewhere in a real emergency. The thing I do find with a sim is you know it's a sim and you walk in and you get a cup of coffee and you start moving from side to side and watching that you don't spill your cup. So it's uh, not seasick but certainly felt the effects.